Hey, my name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. I've got a shorter video today, and it's shorter almost embarrassingly so. If you've been watching my stuff recently on Gulp.js, you know that I've shown you how to take SCSS with Gulp, which is a task runner for you, and it'll actually compile that down to CSS, and you can have it minify it and do a bunch of other stuff, minify your JavaScript, minify your images. Well, Parcel is somehow even easier than that. And uh, we've just got short, six uh, short steps to show you here. Uh, you can follow along at parceljs.org and just this get started area uh, will work for you. There's several cool things with Parcel. Uh, number one, it bundles everything. And so it'll pull that all together and kind of tighten the screws and make it as uh, absolutely performant as possible uh, for development. Another cool thing is it's got a hot module replacement, meaning that when you save things, it just automatically will update in your browser as you're working on your website. And so that way you're not having to walk over, you know, click over and uh, refresh the page manually or, or anything like that. There's a bunch of other cool stuff in here you can do. I'm just going to keep it pretty simple today. You'll see I've got an index.html file. I've got some images. I've got a JavaScript file, a CSS file, all inside this source directory. And that's really all I've got. I've got something from my code editor here and then this readme file. So very quickly, in like two or three minutes here, we're going to get everything up and running, automatically compile SCSS down to CSS, minify our JavaScript, the whole deal. So what we're going to do is take these six steps kind of one after the other. You do need Node.js, um, the way I'm doing it at least. Uh, I think you can also do it with Yarn, um, and they've got it here under this getting started thing, but I've just, I'm using Node Package Manager. So if you don't have Node.js, make sure to go to nodejs.org. Just download it like any other program on your machine, install it, and then start back here in step two. Step two, we're just going to initialize uh, NPM by doing dash Y answers all those questions, uh, you know, kind of the standard, which I would just be hitting return 10 times. So um, next thing we need to do is actually install Parcel. So we'll come into here and do NPM I Parcel Bundler dash capital D, which is the same thing as saying npm install parcel bundler uh, dash dash save dash dev. That's what capital D does for you. This takes just a little bit, so give me just a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, that was all of 19 seconds, but it's installed now, and you'll notice it's done a few things. If we come in here and look at our package.json file, we've added that parcel bundler as a dev dependency, and then it started installing the node modules it needs to run. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, I guess I need to open back up my readme file here. Um, we're going to add these scripts. So the way Parcel works is you point it to a single file, this index.html file or you know whatever file you want to here that references all the other files. And you point it here, and it's smart enough to know what to do whenever any file is referenced there. So all we need to do is create a script that says, hey, look, in here at this index.html. So I'll come back in here to my package.json, remove this test, test script, and add in dev, a dev script. That's just what we'll call it. We could call it whatever we want, but I think that is what uh, the documentation here calls it, if I remember yeah, down here this way. And uh, so we'll all we have to do is say parcel and then pass it whatever it's supposed to be looking at. All right, now let's copy this down. And the only difference is we're going to have both a dev and a build script. The dev script doesn't tighten all the screws. It makes it um, work, but it doesn't take forever to build every time you save. And uh, again, it doesn't quite minify everything all the way. Um, the build script will. And the only difference is you have to pass parcel and then build and then wherever the file is found. We do need a, a comma here. Uh, so while we're building, we'll just be, or while we're working on the site, we'll just be using this dev script. And when we're ready to send it to production, we'll use the build script. Same exact thing. It's just that the dev script doesn't quite do everything that the build script does. Uh, but that also makes it easier to develop because you're not waiting constantly on parcel to, um, to kind of do all of its magic. Okay, so we've already, believe it or not, done four of the five uh, of the six. Uh, the fifth is basically just means like build your site like you normally would. So like you'd come in here and you link to, to style sheets. Uh, now we'll link to the style sheet. And the cool thing is you just link to it, your actual SCSS file. Parcel knows it's SCSS. It knows it needs to compile it. It knows it needs to minify it. It takes care of all that. Then we'll come in here as well and we'll add a script tag. We need to make sure to defer this so it loads after the body. 
And then once again, we'll come in here and we'll just grab our script. Let's also add an image. So we'll come in here, same kind of thing. Let's grab our Zion image and we'll go Zion National Park. All right, so we've done everything but actually run the script. Now all we have to do, and again, this is almost embarrassing how short this is and how quickly you can get something set up, is call that script that you wrote and it will actually go ahead and set up a server and everything else. So I'll come over here and you'll see everything's just here automatically. Now what it's done is it's created this distribution folder and it's added all this stuff. Now, don't get confused about all these things. Parcel's doing its magic. You just leave this distribution folder alone. But you'll see what I've gotten here is I've got like, this JavaScript does nothing but say console log uh, hello. So let's see, make sure it's saying hello. It is, so that means that's working. This SESS folder has almost nothing in it as well. It just tells the body color to be red and uses an SESS variable, and you'll see that it is red. Obviously, we haven't done a whole lot with this site, but you can see how very quickly you can go from nothing to a site that's just building regularly. And the cool thing is because it just reloads, you can come in here and say like, uh, well, I don't know, come visit or whatever, save it, and automatically it just updates for you. It's got that kind of hot reloading. You can come in here and say npm run build, and it'll actually run that build script and set instead, which takes a little bit longer time. It'll actually tell you each file, the size of each of those files, and, and everything else, and it's kind of tightened all the screws on there. It's the same basic principle. It just takes a little bit longer, so it's better to work off of that dev script. So if you haven't used Parcel before, I don't know of a quicker way to get a site up and running and letting you just focus on writing what you like to write and letting um, Parcel do all the magic. And uh, if you have questions, feel free to look into this documentation or add a comment below. Um, if you do like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and hit like. Um, without that, YouTube just is never going to let other people see it. And eventually, I'm going to peter out um, if I'm only... Uh, teaching the few people who are following right now. So if you want to see me continue to make stuff, just quickly hit that like button. If you hate it in a week or two, you can unsubscribe, but that's a big help for me uh, moving forward. So thanks so much and happy coding.